welcome back to my youtube channel my name is Sheila in today's video we're going to be learning how to make a very basic uh, bikini bottom I'm very sorry for the delay for this week's video I've been super busy with photo shoots and all that and I kind of got a cold during the week and I couldn't even speak uh, that clearly as I recorded so I decided to postpone this tutorial a bit but now i'm in better shape and i can bring you the tutorial and here we are uh, for the materials you'll need uh, i'm going to be using this silky and masterize effect alice diva plus this yarn is really nice and super stretchy it's kind of stretchy and um, silky as well and it gives a very good effect on bikinis generally and uh, it recommends uh, a 3 to 4 millimeter crochet hook but I'll be using a 2.75 to achieve tighter stitches and uh, you also need a pair of scissors and then I'll also use a measuring tape to just show you um, the general measurements for my bikini bottom so let's get started so you're going to grab your uh, 2.75 millimeter crochet hook and your yarn i'm going to be using the color maroon i'm going to try my best to be a bit closer to the camera so that you can see what i'm doing since i'm using a darker color so you're going to start off with a slip knot i'm going to be making a size medium small to medium so we have our slip knot here you're going to make a chain that's two inches so a chain that's two inches make sure you have your measuring tape with you so these are my two inches and uh, these are 12 chains in total so you're going to chain up two more that's a total of 14 and go into the third chain from the hook with a double crochet so you're going to count one two three sorry the fourth chain so one two three and into the fourth chain you're going to go there with a double crochet and continue to double crochet all the way across you should have the same number of stitches as the, as the number of chains that you did before um, adding the extra two chains so I had 12 chains so I should have a total of 12 double crochets all the way across I'm going to show you So here we are we've placed our very last double crochet in the last stitch so we have one which is this chain three at the beginning then two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve so you should have a total of twelve double crochets so um, this really depends on your uh, the distance between your thighs if you have a bigger crutch then you may consider adding around two stitches if you have a smaller one you may consider reducing like by around one stitch or two but I feel like this is the standard size that I usually do for bikinis and it always works out fine so we're going to row two so row one is finished so for row two you're going to chain up three which will count as a double crochet turn your work and this chain three is attached to this very first stitch that means we don't place any stitch in the first stitch we're going into the second stitch with a double crochet and then all the way across with one double crochet in each and every stitch after that so we should have the same number of stitches that we had in the very first row so you should have 12 
double crochets in the second row or whatever number of stitches that you decided to do for your first row. You want to make sure that this middle section is not um, very big because you'll get a bulge in between your legs which we don't want. So um, don't forget to go into the very last stitch with a double crochet. So I have my 12 double crochets again. So um, I'm going to row 3 and for row 3 until you get 4 inches in length you're going to have a total of 12 double crochets. You're going to man maintain the number of stitches until you get a total length of 4 inches for the crotch part. Um, so here we are with a total of 4 inches when stretched it can stretch to 4 inches you can see that so that took me a total of uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8 rows of 12 double crochets you can see I maintained the number of stitches on each row we were just increasing the length and now we're going to be doing the increases we're going to be first working on the front side and then we shall go to the back side so you're going to chain up three turn your work but this time we're going to be increasing on both sides both at the beginning and at the end of our row this will create more coverage for our front side of the bikini so we're going to go into the very first stitch with a double crochet and that means the very first stitch has two stitches this chain three that counts as a stitch and the double crochet that we've placed in the same stitch then you're going to continue to work one double crochet in um, all the middle stitches so one double crochet in each middle stitch and in the very last stitch we shall place two double crochets so we are done with the middle stitches here and we are left with this very last stitch we are going to go into it with a total of two double crochets so you can see that the bikini has started taking shape so this is row 9 and for row 10 we are going to do the same exact thing as row 9 chain 3, turn your work place one double crochet in the very first stitch so two stitches in the very first stitch the chain 3 and the stitch here and then one double crochet in each of the next stitches and when you get to the last stitch you're going to um, you're going to place two double crochets in the very last stitch so this will continue to widen the bikini bottom to cover up the front side of our uh, bikini so the very last stitch will get a total of two double crochets so each row is going to increase by two stitches the one we place at the beginning and the one we place at the end so we are going to repeat that same exact row, row 9, which is the same as row 10. So repeat row 9 until you have a total of 10 inches from here up to wherever you have stopped. So we are going to continue increasing our bikini bottom until we have a total of 10 inches right from the start.
all right so here we have our 10 inches um from here up to down here where we started from it can stretch to a total of 10 inches and uh, I did a total of um, 15 rows just for the extension of the front part and then remember we already have our eight rows down here so right now we have a total of 23 uh, rows so um this marks the end of the front side so i'm giving you the measurement so that if you have a different uh stitching like uh, some people have longer stitches some people have shorter stitches you can follow the measurements and uh, achieve the same exact look so for me i did 15 rows of increases and eight rows of constant 12 double crochets and then um, the other thing that we are going to do is to go to the back side and also start increasing this. So this is a total of uh, 10 inches here. So let's go to the back side and then we also work on it. So from here, you're going to just chain up one and cut your yarn. So that is the front panel. This is how everything looks like. So we're going to go to the back side and start working on the back side. So you're going to make a slip knot and attach your yarn in the corner stitch. So this very first stitch here, you're going to attach your yarn. And now we are going to chain up three and we are going to go into that very exact stitch. We are going to start increasing right away. Make a double crochet. And then um, we are going to go into the next stitch with one double crochet. So all the middle stitches. I'm working as I weave in these tails here so that I don't have to deal with them later. So one double crochet in each of the middle stitches and into the last stitch you'll place two double crochets. So I'm giving you the general instructions but if you're, bigger, if you're a bigger size, let me say a size large, for the front panel you may consider adding like two extra rows or some rows that will suit your coverage so uh, instead of doing 15 rows you may consider let me say 17 rows but for the middle the crotch area don't tamper with it because uh, we don't want a very long one so uh, I'm in the last stitch I'm on the last stitch of this and I'll go into it with a total of two double crochets so this is the very first row of the back panel, the back extension. So um, we're going to repeat this until we have full coverage. So for me, I'll do a total of 23 rows. So go ahead and do 23 rows and I'll get back and I give you different instructions for the different sizes. So um, this is small to medium. If you're extra small, consider doing around 21 rows or 20 rows because this may be too long for you so let me go ahead and do my 23 rows and i'll be measuring this after this and uh, you'll be able to achieve the same exact measurement so 23 rows for mine so chain up three make an increase both at the beginning and at the end so continue doing that until you get a total of 23 rows for the back increases and I'll meet you guys back when I'm there all right guys so here I am with my 23 rows of the back extension and then uh, the front extension had 15 rows so the way I always want to determine how many rows I do at the back is by getting the 10 inches here at the front and then um, 
I find out the number of rows that I did for the increases. In this case, this was 15 rows for the increases on the front side. Then I add eight rows. Then that will be the number of rows that you do at the back. The number of rows of increases at the back. So the number of rows you did at the front plus eight. So if you did a total of, let me say 13, you'll do a total of 21 rows at the back. If you did 15, you'll do 23 rows. If you did uh, 17, you'll do a total of 25 rows. But this is not like gospel truth. So um, please go ahead and alter your bikini to get a better fitting for your particular body type. So that's how I determine mine. And this is how the bikini looks like. Let me zoom out a bit. This is how the bikini has come out. And this yarn is really like pretty and stretchy. At this point, you can determine whether you want to line your work or not. Um, the next step that we are left with is just to attach straps. So uh, I'm going to just go ahead and continue where I left off from. And I just make a simple chain of around 100 chains. And then go ahead and do 100 chains at each and every point here. And yeah, the bikini will be done. So here we are after attaching uh, chains at every point of our bikini. And you can see it's a basic bikini, very beginner friendly. I would recommend this for any uh, beginner and anyone who has just started making uh, swimwear or anything like that. It has been a request in my DM to do a basic bikini bottom and here you are. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!